Well, the Gabby Petito autopsy was finally released today, and people are missing a huge hint from the press conference that was done by this guy. This is coroner Dr. Brent Blue. And I'm going to play you just the important stuff from this press conference, squeeze down into just a couple of minutes so you know everything you need to know. And we're going to learn things like the manner of death, which was strangulation, uh, whether or not she was pregnant, was Gabby Petito pregnant at the time, uh, you're going to hear the guy from America's Most Wanted, John Walsh, really heavily plug his television show. You're going to hear that DNA was uh, swabbed at the scene and is being investigating. And then this huge hint that I believe Dr. Brent Blue dropped at the end of this press conference. So here we go. This is all the stuff I've edited for you. Everything you need to know from the Gabby Petito uh, autopsy press conference today. Let's go. Hello, thank you all for joining us. I am Dr. Brent Blue, uh, uh, Teton County, Wyoming coroner. After a detailed investigation by our forensic pathologists, our anthropologists and local law enforcement, uh, with assistance from the FBI, the Teton County coroner office is following the following verdict in the death of Gabrielle Lenora Petito. We hereby find the cause and manner of death to be the cause death by strangulation and manner is homicide. By Wyoming state statute, no other information will be released about the autopsy. The only thing that is released in the state of Wyoming is cause and manner of death. I think they said they can't hear you, just one second. Hi, Brian, this is Alex with the News and Guide. Can you hear me? Yes. Um, I'm curious whether you're able to pinpoint a date of death and when, and if you know whether or when Gabby's remains will be returned to her family. The, the remains have been uh, 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 returned to the mortuary here, and the mortuary is dealing with the family at this time as far as the disposition of the remains. As far as the uh, time of death, uh, we are estimating three to four weeks from the time that uh, the body was found. Uh, that is actually determined more by law enforcement folks than the uh, uh, than our office. Okay, it's it's John Walsh from In Pursuit with John Walsh on Discovery ID. Doctor Blue, thank you for your time. I think everybody in the world believes that Brian Laundry killed Gabby. Um, with your extensive work on the body, are you sure that it's Brian uh, Laundry? And will the FBI issue a nationwide homicide uh, uh, warrant now that they know the cause of death? Uh, we are only tasked with the determination of cause and manner of death. Who committed the homicide is up to law, law enforcement. And I cannot answer the question about uh, the FBI. You would have to contact them. Hi there, this is Heather Lee, a reporter at ABC Action News in Tampa, Florida. I just wanted to know if you could explain um, why it took about a month for this process to finish. Um, I think a lot of people were hoping that they would learn this information sooner. So I just think if you could just explain the process and why it took a month. Well, the main reason was uh, that we were very exacting in our examination and the detail by which that examination was done. We were waiting for uh, 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 various uh, specialists to come in and, and help us with this investigation. We were waiting on toxicology uh, to be returned. And it was just a matter of making sure we had everything right. Yes, hi, doctor, how are you? I am curious if any DNA samples were taken from Gabby's remains and also if the body was intact, are you able to tell us the condition of Gabby's remains? Uh, I can tell you the DNA samples were taken by law enforcement. And all I can tell you about remains is that uh, the body was outside for three to four weeks. Was there any impact on her body from weather or wild animals in the national park? Uh, all I can really comment about that is that her body was outside in the wilderness for three to four weeks. Uh, we have a question from the chat. Uh, was Gabby Petito pregnant? She was not pregnant. Was the manner of death obvious? Strangulation marks, bones, injured neck. 
uh, the, the man, uh, nothing is obvious in a situation like this. So uh, a detailed analysis was used both to uh, determine manner and cause of death. I can't go into details on how we made those uh, decisions. Hey there, Dr. Blue. My name is Will. I'm from uh, KHOL Jacksonville Community Radio here in Jackson. Um, you know, you're a small town coroner here in Western Wyoming. This case got so much national attention as we can see right now. Can you speak on what it was like doing your job with such a big spotlight on you? Thanks. Well, it was quite the media circus uh, and continues to be. Uh, unfortunately, uh, this is only one of, of many deaths uh, around the country uh, of uh, people who are involved in domestic violence. And uh, it's unfortunate that uh, these other deaths did not get as much coverage as this one. I'm assuming that because the deceased was a blogger that this received more coverage uh, than others, but uh, there are a lot of uh, both men and women who have lost their lives that aren't covered with this kind of media attention. All right, there you go. And that little piece at the end there, I think is maybe the most important bombshell of this entire thing. He says as a response to the simple question, one that he could answer, what's it like being in a small town and being the uh, coroner and being in the spotlight here? And he says, we have all sorts of domestic violence cases like this that don't get nearly this much attention. It would appear, it would appear that Dr. Brent Blue is hinting that he does indeed buy into the idea that this was a domestic abuse situation, that there was ongoing abuse, uh, perhaps from Brian Laundry to Gabby Petito, and that the strangulation was the culmination of all of that and what led to the death of Gabby Petito. And that, friends, is big news. What do you think about what you heard in the autopsy today? What do you think about the future of this case? Will we find Brian uh, Laundry? Will he be alive when he is found? And will he stand trial? You know, I think that this guy is going to come out and he's going to have a defense, and it's going to really irritate some people because he'll place himself in the seat of victimhood as well. It happens in all of these cases. But I want to know what you think. Let me know in the comments below. If you're new around here at Facebook.com slash The News Junkie, please do hit that follow button at YouTube.com slash The News Junkie. Hit subscribe. Thanks, as always, to my supporters. I appreciate you, and you can support below if you'd like to. That would be greatly appreciated to keep these videos coming. And uh, thank you to all who do. Thanks again for watching, and we'll talk to you again real soon.